When you run through a full examination of the ankle and foot complex, then naturally you should have done active range of motion, passive range of motion, and then this video is gonna be about resisted testing, okay? And what that does, it tests the contractile tissues, i.e. the muscles and the tendons. So let's start with passive eversion. Let's rephrase that, let's do resisted eversion. So what we're gonna do is my patient is going to pull the foot out like this, Max. So you're gonna turn your foot out against my hand and I'm going to resist that. So E matches my pressure and I'm trying to overcome. Just match my pressure, match it, match it, match it. And I will use quite firm pressure when I do that. So I'm testing the muscles that evert and these are the peroneae. You can see in this case, this is the peroneal brevis to the fifth metatarsal. Longus is next to that. And also if you lift your foot there, you can also see the EHL is part of that muscle for eversion, well, slightly. Okay, it's more of a dorsiflexor, but if he pushes out, okay, you can sort of see it works. But it is one called peroneal tertius. Sometimes it's a continuation of the EDL that comes down to the fifth met, or sometimes there's a separate muscle in itself that comes around you. This muscle here, if you just pull your foot up, Okay, you can see this muscle, that is actually extensor digitorum brevis, yeah, just on the pad there. Now, let's do passive inversion. So exactly the same, instead of going this way, we turn the hands and go this way. So pull your foot inwards, please. Match my pressure, match it, match it, match it, and he's strong. If you're not sure, I can show you in this foot. Turn your foot in, good. And the main invert is, if I look at this foot, just turn your foot in, there we go. So we've got tibialis, anterior, and we've also got tibialis posterior. Tibialis anterior goes to the medial cuneiform, the first met, and then tibialis posterior goes to the navicular tuberosity, but also goes under the foot like a glove and attaches onto a few other structures there. If I get my patient just to lift your foot up, hold your foot there, please. Match my pressure, match it, match it, and he's strong. So that's testing resisted dorsiflexion, which is mainly by the tibialis anterior and the extensors. From this position, I'm going to say to my patient, push, push, good, push firmer, firm, and that will be testing the plantar flexes. The plantar flexes are many. We've got the tricep suri, which is the gastrocnemius two heads, and then the one head of the soleus. So that's called the tricep three, okay, two heads of gastro, one head of soleus. We've also got other muscles. So we've got the plantaris, which is a vestigial muscle. We've also got the tibialis posterior, which is a plantar flexor. And we've also got the deep flexors, one for the great toe, which is called the flexor hallucis longus, and also for the smaller toes, which is known as flexor digitorum longus. So there are many muscles that plantar flex. So what we've done, we've tested the four motions. We tested eversion to start with, then we did inversion, then we did dorsiflexion, and then we did plantar flexion. So they are the four resisted tests for the ankle and foot complex.